in this video i will talk about for the remaining portion of the physical nature of the matter so and the classification of matter so let's come on the particles the third point is the particles of matter are too small to be imagined suppose you have to explain this uh, point by showing an activity i have just taken the beaker then add the few crystal of the copper sulfate then copper sulfate solution will form and after taking 10 ml of this copper sulfate solution and dissolve into the fresh water and this process are repeated again and again so we observe that uh, in the end of the blue color solution becomes light light and uh, we started from the dark blue color solution that means here the blue color solution is not uh, disappear after diluting the copper sulfate solution so here we can say that the even a one crystal of the copper sulfate contain a large number of the particles in it, in it and this is the clear verification of this point particles of matter are too small to be measured the last fourth point is the particles of matter is in a constant mo motion every particles of matter have a uh, have a motion suppose you have to explain this point by a uh, swing an activity so you can do it at your home take an incense stick that is agarbatti and light it uh, at one corner of your room and uh, after few minute you will observe the pleasant smell of the incense stick will spread all over your room by the process of diffusion that means the particles of the which are present inside the incense stick gets in motion so and the uh, uh, second way you can say that uh, when uh, your mother cook food in the kitchen then you can smell the food good food smell from your drying room so on this is the explanation for the particles of matter in a constant motion now i'll talk about for the classification of matter so there are two broad classification of the matter first one is the physical classification and second one is the chemical classification what is the physical classification on the basis of the physical classification the matter has classified into three parts solid liquid and gas and this cl chemical classification you have to consider in the next chapter of the uh, this class understand so i will talk about first the what is the solid and uh, what is the main features of a solid so i will talk about for general properties of solid or solid state the first point is solid has definite shape and definite volume second point in solid no intermolecular space third point melting point and boiling point is very high fourth point compressibility is low compressibility is low or negligible next melting and melting point and sublimation so these are the some points i will talk about for the general properties of solid first point that uh, solid have definite shape and definite volume the question is that why the solid have definite shape and definite volume because in solids the particles have very closely packed arrangement and this closely packed arrangement is due to the presence of a strong intermolecular force of attraction clear so we can say that the solid have definite shape and definite volume the second point is in solid no intermolecular space this is because
because uh, you know that in the first point I already explained that solid have closely packed arrangements so the intermolecular space will not be present in case of the solid and due to this the compressibility will be very low. Third point the melting point and boiling point is very high. Melting point and boiling point is that means uh, when we start to heat the any solid uh, then it, uh, it will take um, a very high amount of heat and that's why the melting point is very high because the closely packed arrangement and the molecular force of attraction. Compressibility is low or negligible. This is because in solids the intermolecular spaces are very low or negligible. Here melting point, uh, uh, here we, I will talk about for the melting and melting point. What is melting when a solid starts to change into the liquid then process known as melting and the temperature at which a solid changes directly into the liquid is known as melting point. Every solid have a uh, fixed melting point. Sublimation, the process by which a solid directly changes into the gas or vapor or a gas directly changes into the solid are known as sublimation. A number of examples for the, uh, the substance which are involved in the process of sublimation are known as sublime substance. For example, ammonium chloride, camphor, iodine, dry ice. So, these are the some examples for the sublime substances and the sublimation. You can see this sublimation process by an activity in your book. And uh, I will talk about for the next general properties of liquid and gases in my next video. So, to be continued, thanks a lot.